Hello and welcome to Tim and Amy's Homestead. Come on now, let's get in the kitchen and see what's going on. I promise you don't have to cook. Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by the channel. Today is Thirsty Thursday and I have got to get me some of my homemade wine and take me a swallow because it's just been one of those days. And while I am drinking a little wine, we're going to make some crispy fried chicken. Y'all remember, uh, if you're my age or a little older, you will. I honestly do not know if they still make it or not because I don't buy it. But growing up, we always used shake and bake. Well, this recipe right here is going to kind of remind folks of that. And this is so easy and it's so good and it's keto worthy. I went on ahead and got everything together. So all we had to do was throw it together, throw it in the pan, and get it baking. So what you're going to need is some wine. A chilled wine glass some chicken of choice I'm using thighs because thighs and legs are the fattiest part of the chicken so I have some boneless and skinless chicken thighs um, I'm using two eggs and some heavy whipping cream mind you I haven't measured anything so I'm thinking it it might be two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in those two eggs I just kind of poured some in there and good old trusty pork rinds. I ground up what I had. I had like a half a bag. So I went on ahead and ground them up. And you know, they have salt and pepper already in them. So I'm not going to add any more. And you can put whatever spices you like in it. So I'm going to throw some parsley flakes in, some garlic, and some chicken seasoning. And you do that to your taste. And um, get you a pan that's going to fit the amount of chicken that you're going to use. And go ahead and grease it up and we'll be ready to make the stuff. Let's do the main, the most important part here. Now this is some homemade wine that I made a while back. I take a little sip of this every once in a while. I need to get me another flavor and make some more. Guys, if you haven't made you any yet, grab you your favorite kind of wine and make you some. I have a video on that. Make you some of it. I mean, it's make it, set it, and forget it, and it's really good. So I'm going to put that to the side. Cheers to you. Happy Thursday. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Woo! Can we say woo? Okay. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now, with your chicken, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Then we'll start to dredge after I get the stuff in here. So, just sprinkle a little bit of each thing. Of course it wants to stick. Just kind of mix it up. Have your oven preheated to 400 degrees and you're going to cook it for around 30 minutes. Um, at 20 minutes I would check it because not everybody's oven is the same so around 20 minutes I would do my checking. Okay, 
Okay, I think I'm just going to cook those three for us. So I'm going to get my hands washed and go throw it in the oven, and I'll show it to you when it's done. All right, the chicken has come out of the oven. Look at that. It's golden brown. It smells so good. And this is dinner tonight. Make you some of this. Check the recipe at the bottom. Please leave me a comment and let me know how you like it. I'd really love to hear from you. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Please like and share my video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please mash that red button. And Lord help me, don't forget to mash that bell so you know when I got another video coming out. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.